in this video we are discussing uh, why all ideal filters are uh, non causal and unstable okay so for that we are taking we are taking a low pass filter we are taking low pass filter the response of low pass filter looks like this t by 2 2 minus t by 2 magnitude is 1 this is in frequency domain okay so if you uh, take the Fourier transform of this uh, rectangular pulse you will get you will get a infinite signal which is a sample signal or sync signal you can write the Fourier transform like this sample of omega t by 2 sorry sample of omega t by 2 because this is a rectangular signal so also uh, as i have taken this in frequency domain this has to go in this has to go in time domain by using the similarity or duality property right so we are having a uh, rectangular pulse in, uh, in uh, time uh, frequency domain so we are having something like this in time domain this is time domain signal of sample okay so you can see this signal is everlasting signal from minus infinity to plus infinity from minus infinity to plus infinity and this is also uh, this is also having some values less than for less than zero so it is it can be seen that this signal is non causal because it is there for positive time as well as negative time now let us talk about unstability so if you integrate this signal from minus inf infinity to plus infinity 2 pi sample of minus minus t by 2 that uh, don't include omega because uh, this is going in time domain now right so sample of minus t by 2 dt this is going to be infinity we cannot determine this because it is an everlasting signal so with this we are concluding our statement that any filter any ideal filter ideal low pass filter i can say ideal low pass filter okay is non causal and unstable non causal and and unstable this is our conclusion